a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Arsenal facing Barcelona. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. starters for Arsenal. Gabriel plays alongside William Saliba in central defence. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Pedri starts alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. excitement throughout the day and now the big kickoff is near it's anyone's guess who'll come out on top in this colossal game but a thrilling encounter can practically be guaranteed stay tuned we'll have all the action for you live from london here on ea tv well, no doubt about it, gunning for victory. The home side tonight, we're in North London, the home of Arsenal. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Arsenal versus Barcelona. Well, as is always the case, both teams will look to control the centre of the pitch. Whichever can do that will dominate possession and probably the game. This is going to be key, I think, today. Bukayo Saka is a player capable of taking any game by the scruff of the neck. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing from him? Well, he has that ability to beat defenders and deliver excellent crosses. He's going to be the key player on the field today, that's for sure. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Gabriel plays alongside William Saliba in central defence. Bukayo Saka plays with Gabriel Martinelli on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And the referee allowing the play to flow. Gotten. Yeah, he's got it all wrong. That's a poor effort, you have to say. Well, following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. Danny Olmo. Here's Rafinha. And the referee has given the, a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time. Not a good effort, nor a good choice. 
Oh, that's a poor attempt, that. He's done their options. And you can see his teammates are frustrated with him for attempting that. He's going to go back and give the yellow. Yeah, you can see the ref... Possession. Can he get them in front? There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending.
to be doing when you've already been cautious. And it is a second book of offence. That's the end of the story for him. And it doesn't surprise me, Joe. He's played on the edge today. Coming right up, it's Manchester City. They take on, and you can't tackle like that. What does the ref do now? And he's going to go. The referee has sent him off. Yeah, they have to be aware. They'll have to organise that back line now, though. Not a great challenge, free kick here. Well, he's going to be taking no further part in this match. Well, it's not a clever challenge, is it? We're going to have to dig in now. High players can be is really on them to attack those bylines and turn their fullbacks.
inside. Where's he going to go? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And that is offside. before playing the ball through. Something. In towards Ronaldo at the back first. Oh, he squandered the opportunity. He might be relieved, though, to see that the offside flag is up. Well, the linesman's sparing his blushes here, but yeah. Manchester City, Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great thing. What an achievement for them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing over towards their supporters to say thank you a collective effort always on these occasions well what more can you say they are the best team in europe photos to cherish for years to come brilliant stuff the champions league victors manchester city oh beating his opponent with ease Over 
to their loyal band of supporters. Cameras are raised. Everybody's getting a piece of this. Well, Guy, did they learn these dance moves off you? I'm tempted to throw a few shapes myself up here. This is wonderful to be a part of. Well, you've been here, Sue. You know what it feels like to be on a winning team. Yeah, and these are pictures that will live long into the memory. It's great to look back on. Lovely touch for them to take the trophy over to their loyal band of supporters. Cameras are raised. Everybody's getting a piece of this. Well, guys, did they learn these dance moves off you? I'm tempted to throw a few shapes myself up here. This is wonderful to be a part of. Well, you've been here, Sue. You know what it feels like to be on a winning team. Yeah, and these are pictures that will live long into the memory. It's great to look back on. Hard work and the dedication, it makes it all worthwhile for moments like this. There will be so many emotions running through the heads of all of these players. And now the big moment. The trophy lift itself. Oh, just listen to that atmosphere. Look how much the players are enjoying it. One more time. I really don't think they want this moment to end. This is why they play the game. Well, the fans travel all over and they're enjoying these moments just as much as the players, and rightly so. Yeah, it's a lovely touch for them to take the trophy over to their loyal band of supporters. Cameras are raised. Everybody's getting a piece of this. Well, Guy, did they learn these dance moves off you? I'm tempted to throw a few shapes myself up here. This is wonderful to be a part of. been here Sue. you know what it feels like to be on a winning team yeah and these are pictures that will live long into the memory it's great to look back on well the fans travel all over and they're enjoying these moments Over it comes, and the danger's still on. delivered and that one should easily be cleared it's been delivered and that one should easily be cleared
two substitutes. Good enough, really. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. positive mood that's the win they came to see yeah well it really could have gone either way it was so competitive for much of the game but they kept pushing kept believing and probably deserved the winner in the end nor the manner of it conceding so late on. With the home fans in positive mood, that's the win they came to see. Yeah, well, it really could have gone either way. It was so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. recent years it has become known simply as Der Klassiker. The two foremost clubs in Germany, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. And today they meet in front of the famous Gelbe Wand, the yellow wall. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is with me for commentary. Stuart, this is always a fabulous occasion to broadcast. Well, Derek, there's no better place to be than this stadium when Bayern come to town. So this should be a great match today. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And here's the 11 for Borussia Dortmund.
Turkey action coming up next. Warm welcome to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, where we're all set for rivalry North London style. I'm Guy Mowbray with Sue Smith alongside me for commentary on Spurs versus Arsenal. Sue, you can feel the excitement here. Oh, you can, and what a game this promises to be. There's certainly no love lost between the two sides. With Spurs being... It is always a high-profile occasion when Chelsea and Arsenal collide. And the venue for this game is Stamford Bridge here in West London. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson for this London derby. Stuart, what do you expect to see today? Well, Derek, you're absolutely right. Chelsea versus Arsenal has become a big game in recent times, and this shouldn't be any different. I'm certainly looking forward to this one. They're two excellent teams. And the contest begins. of the ball live from the Metropolitano as Atletico face Real Madrid. It is a derby rivalry here in Madrid that goes all the way back to 1906. Atletico against Real. Can't wait for this one. I'm Derek Ray and alongside me ready to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. Anfield. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary alongside Sue Smith. 
It's a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Liverpool and they play Fulham. Thanks, Guy. Well, I'm really looking forward to this one today. It'll be interesting to see how both teams line up. What an atmosphere we have here. I absolutely can't wait. This is the Liverpool starting... the case but now here in Germany everyone knows what you're talking about when you refer to Der Klassiker. The two best supported sides in the country. Stay tuned we'll bring you all the action live from Munich as Bayern face Dortmund. Hello it's great to be with you and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Bayern Munich facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, this should be interesting today. I like the make. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Pedri starts alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And now they get the ball rolling. Ben White. Must will get the advantage from the referee. Comprehensive coverage coming up live on EA TV. Welcome to the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by former England striker Sue Smith on the commentary gantry. And it's a game from the Premier League on the way. It's Manchester United and they play Fulham. Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. Here's how Manchester United... Does the job from the spot. To make it 
one nil. And it's in. A show of composure from 12 yards out. Well, have a look at this. The keeper doesn't move, expects him to hit it straight at him. Makes for a simple finish in the end. Make it 1-0, and it's in, a show of composure from 12 yards out. Stadium and Fernando Paloma and I'll be bringing you all the action this evening. I can only tell you one thing. Buckle up, because we're going to have some fun, because this is Rush. Three, two, one, and we're underway. Comes away with a clean lead. No way we could have something here. Good through on ball. Goal! Oh, I can't believe this has got a man by third sip of a cup of coffee and they score the first. Buenas noches, people, and welcome to the FC Rush Stadium. My name is Fernando Paloma, and we've got some exciting five-a-side football coming up in this that's called Rush. There goes the ball, go get it! And they're through here. Off the keeper, what a stop! And now we have a corner kick. Corner looking for a timid in the box. They're in possession again. And there's a chance to go on the break. It's gotta be it! Ailey Pina! Great bit of defensive work. Let's go! 